150, a buck 20, so 120 million dollars. What the fuck are you gonna do with 120 million dollars? What in the fuck would you do with 300 million dollars? I mean, fuck, if you take cash payout, you figure you're getting what? 150, a buck 20, so 120 million dollars. What the fuck are you gonna do with 120 million dollars? I mean, you build your dream house. Your dream house, what can that be? Two, three million dollars tops? I mean, I guess if you're fucking living in San Francisco or New York City or some shit like that, then you could easily drop 10, 15, 20 million on a fucking pad. You know, if you're a total goof. But, uh, you know, realistically, fuck, two, three million dollars, you ought to have the biggest goddamn how you doing you could think of. Buy a few dream cars, what is that, another two or three million tops? I mean, that's just, just absolutely going absolute fucking bonkers. You know, and then you, you give, you know, what, you got ten close family members, you get you even one of them a million dollars? You know, well, fuck, you still got... I haven't even reached 100 million yet, probably. I mean, that's just crazy. Why do people need so much money? It's just insane. It's just like a drug. People that need money like that are, it's no different than fucking being on heroin. Like, how much do you fucking need? Like, I just can't imagine, like, put one of those fuckers in our shoes for a month and they would just fall to tears on, like, day I was gonna say day two, but probably like day half. <laughs> like, fucking 12 hours in, they would quit. They would fucking quit. I mean, it might be, maybe not, you know, it might seem like, uh, it might like be a novelty for the first, you know, few days or a week. But after that, that shit would get real old real fucking quick. They would not do themselves with a hard day's work or just the boredom of poor. <laughs> the boredom of poor, for fuck's sakes. We deal with it because it's our lives, so it's, you know, not so bad, right? Not a big deal. We find ways to, to cure the boredom of, of life. And mostly all they know is, you know, to do that with money. Oh my goodness, all the birdies. Holy shit, boys. I did not catch that at all. One thing nice about living in the country is, you know, when I slam my brakes, there's nobody behind me. I do that shit in the city to, oh, let me slam my brakes and show you something. Have a bang up. Have a bang up. Bit of a bang up, mate. Really? Neither a wave? Fuck yourself, what happened? I apologize. I'm sure people wave to me all the time and I don't even, I'm off in la-la land talking to y'all or not paying attention or listening to the radio off in fucking song and I don't see, I don't see the wave or whatever. Off in la-la land as it were. La-la land! La-la! Okay, see if I can show you all the horsies. I mean, there's horsies, right? You see those horsies. Okay, so horsies driving off the road, but still there were horsies. Now the horsies over here. Now will we see them? Maybe not, because they, oh, they see their way, probably way back in yonder, fucking hate dawn. But there's totally horses in that field as well. Keep it over here for a second in case we sign them. I must have stuck her pretty good that she ain't fallen yet. Okay, so they're off somewhere, but there's totally horses in that field also. Granted, none of these horses get ridden. So that right there, that's at least like six or eight horses total. Even though y'all didn't only saw like three of them. Okay, now she does not have horses. They may have horses, but they're way off in fucking boot. Like you can't even see their house, it's so far back. So who knows what the fuck they got, right? But uh, I always want to drive down their driveway just to look at their house. They don't have horses, but they do. They have at least two horses all the way in the back so you can't stop them. But they totally have at least two horses and let's see, not her, but she has like three or four horses right here. She has three or four horses. Again, they're in the back, probably in the barns. It's cold with a blanket. And then they have, uh, just fucking well, they have horses, which you might or might not be able to see. They're actually up the driveway, but you probably can't. But they have at least one or two. So that's like, 
mean, there's at least like 15 fucking probably 20 horses just in that little stretch that I showed you. And not a one of them rides them. Like, not a one horse is ridden. I mean, the horses are probably, the horses probably love it, right? Horses are probably like, dude, mutton chop, shut the fuck up. Like, put a saddle on your back and ride around a fucker and see how you like it. Derp. Horses are kind of like pets, but, you know, they're pets to be ridden. It's kind of like having a four-wheeler that you just fucking park and wash once a month. And change the oil in every few. Y'all gotta know where I live by now. Holy. Really? No game still? What the fuck is going on, game flop? Game fucking whatever the fuck you're... Game fly? Game die? You fuckers, man. They just be lagging. And I know it's fucking bullshit because over the holidays, like, I randomly, like, when... Like, the least time I should have gotten a fucking mailer. Like, there's like, you know, like, right during the New Year's or something. Like, when all the mail, like, over the weekend, whatever. Like, I, I remember it was like a fucking... I'm like, oh, well, the mails, like, didn't run for, like, two or three... And, like... After the time I got it, got the notice that they received my thing, till I got the next gamer was like three days or maybe two. And it's normally like seven or eight. So they are totally just fucking throttling me, cocksuckers. And I keep games for a month or more, so what the fuck? I apologize. Not really pissed, but I'm kind of pissed. When it says there's no waiting period on the game, and I know you've received my game, then it shouldn't take a freaking week and a half to get here. That's for Gamefly, not for y'all. I love y'all. That's for y'all, not for you boys. That's maybe. I'll just cut all that out. Unstoppable. Oh, Leah's a nice dooley. Bill. Bill. Really? Just the fog lights? Lights, buddy. Come on. There you go. What a good man or woman. Alright, well, I got a craving for some big Bufords at rallies. I think they're even on sale, but there ain't one in my town, so I got to drive like half an hour away, and I'm thinking, well, hell, should I go to the movies? But it's Saturday night. I was thinking about seeing the new Star Wars, and it's been out a month, and nobody's going to be there, but the fucking theaters are still going to be packed and fucking full of teenagers, so clearly I'm an old fuck if that's bothering me. It gets what it, the gist of what I'm saying here. So, uh, I don't know that I want to drive 30 minutes for a burger that I'm just going to chow down right there because I don't want to drive another 30 minutes. Really, it's like 45. Uh, and eat a cold burger. So, uh, I'm just kind of deciding what I'm going to do here. But I hear tell there's a Mexican joint. Oh, I do got to go by the bank, my fucking goof ass. Totally missed that. I mean, I could go this way, but kind of going the long way here. But I hear tell there's a little hole-in-the-wall Mexican joint on the other side of this gas station up here. And, you know, the second I hear gas station attached Mexican food, well, <laughs> my bowels start to jump for joy about the pleasurable experiences I may get to entail if I partake in some of that. So, uh, I'm thinking about driving by and giving the old how you doing. But I gotta run by the bank first, because I'm pretty sure they're not gonna let me you know, get free food on my charm, or lack thereof. Old lady tells me, old lady tells me they're gonna put a Burger King right here, where this old mortuary slash funeral home is. And uh, I'm like, wow, what are they gonna do with, like, I mean, behind it or what? No, I think they're gonna tear it down, really? They're gonna tear down this fucking building to build a Burger King. Like, what the fuck? And she's like, oh, well, it's pretty old. I'm like, it's fucking brick. Like, how old can it be? Like, it's brick. Brick lasts for fucking ever. Like, stone lasts forever. Like, even if, I mean, the roof looks good, the brick looks good. I mean, even if the fucking inside was kind of dickered, uh, you know, have it redone. I mean, I know you can't put a Burger King there, but I'm just saying, somebody could put something there. And it was open until recently, so what of a fuck? Seems like such a waste to me. But I don't think they can open another mortuary. I mean, we already got one here. How many mortuaries do you need for a population of a few thousand? Go down the old back street here. Oh, look at the sign already lighting up, reading me as soon as I pulled on the street. 21, 22, 23. See, my shit says 25, 26, 27. My shit says 27, it says 25. And now, as soon as I pass it, I can start speeding, right? So what happens? I should have got it red for y'all. It's like, starts flashing and shit. I'm sure y'all seen those. It's like, slow down, fucker! I don't think it says fucker. But it starts, I think it starts flashing uh, 
red and blue, like a cop. I'm about to swirl around and hit this bitch again. I'm totally gonna turn around for y'all. Jesus, are there any streets to do so on? There's one. This isn't a turnaround street. This goes all the fucking way down. Oh, it is. Okay, good. What am I thinking? Yeah, yeah. Dirt. Do you live in this town, mutton shop, or what, bud? Bud, look at the itty bitty fucking teeny weeny. How you doing? Oh my goodness, the fucking itty bitty bitty razor. That looks tiny. That looks smaller than the average razor, if I'm not mistaken. Which I very well could be. But my neighbor's kid has a razor. And when I had my full winter before I fucked my back up, we went riding like a few times when they first moved in. And it was a single seater razor, but it seemed much longer and much taller. That actually seems like a little five year old's how you doing or something. Alright, let me go all the way down here and set this shit off. It's gonna be hilarious if a fucking cop like swings out or something. I'm like, no, no, it's for my movie, bud. My movie. It's for my movie! For sale! Dora Cox, give her a call. Get yourself a house on the corner with a little how you doing. A little how you doing in the back. Oh, somebody still lives there. Uh, maybe they're gonna live there with you when you buy it. Maybe y'all are all gonna live together. All right, let's go to prison. Oh, just scaring the shit out of grandma on the PT Cruiser. All right, let's go to prison. Ready? Oh, it's just red? I thought it gave the big old how you doing. Fucking, that's it? Just red and slow down and then a green and a thank you and orange, okay. Well, that was a big waste of nothing. I mean, something. I definitely sped up as soon as I passed that sign. Speed limit was 25 the whole time, and but not for old mutton chop, it wasn't. What about the Ford boys? How you doing? What about the Ford? That's not so bad. Looked a little weird. Looked a, that was an extra long bed. It just looked longer than shit. Longer than shit. It's because those older ones are lower too, like they sit lower or something, so they look more they look more odd, they look odder, which is correct. More odd or odder. Oh, I got a cop behind me too. He was probably seeing me hauling ass through there. Just like a fucker. I'm gonna get a ticket. Like it was for my movie. I lost I lost count. Oh, maybe he gave up on me. Maybe he quit. Okay, let's see if there's a cop waiting. Oh there he is. He's not waiting on me. He pulled out that way. Maybe there'll be another one coming to get me. Uh, he might not even been. I don't even know if he was behind me. That's the thing. Like, I wasn't even paying attention. Like, I just passed the sign and just started making my movie and hauling ass. Not paying any attention to my fucking speed or what was behind me. So, I don't know if he's behind me or not. That's pretty funny. He probably saw who I was. He probably recognized me. Like, I'm all over this town all the time. And you can't see fuck diddly all right here. So dangerous. I can't believe I didn't show y'all my burger the other night that I got from the rib joint. If I, I, maybe I did. I don't think I fucking did with my idiotic ass. I think I was so hungry that I just ate it. It was friggin' crazy. It was called the Shaniac from Shane's Rib Shack. And it had, uh, it was a regular old burger, right? But instead of lettuce, it had coleslaw. And then it had pulled pork on it also. And I don't think it had a tomato. But it did have pickles, and uh, you know that it, it it should have had tomatoes, and it should have also had big old fucking Hawkins slices of bacon, and then it would have been pretty good. But for the first couple of bites, it was delicious, and then after that, it was just like this is way too fucking much. Yeah, these are some hella fucking hella turns around here. I'm looking to get pulled over, just hauling ass. I don't even have a clue what the speed limit is. Just fucking running over double lines, small town, totally on the wrong side of the tracks. Not for my opinion, but for, you know, the rednecks around here. What you doing over in this part of town? What are you talking about, dude? Just driving. Fool, what's, what's this part of town? What's this part of town? Because I live in the poor part of town, too. It's just out in the fucking country. All right, so where is this fucking supposed Mexican restaurant joint here? Because I don't see fuck all. Unless it's literally in the back. Oh, look, El Aurora. El Aurora, Mexican restaurant, open daily. Is that what's in the back here? Or 
parts. It's just employee parking. This is just employee parking. So when you go in through the gas station, oh, this is going to be great food. Oh no, it's beside. It's another extra little fucking. How you doing? It's an actual other entrance. How have I never in my life seen it? Biggest thing I miss about California is all the taco shops. Oh my goodness. What a kind. Alright, if we got the semi shooting around the car, then we definitely got an issue. What is really going on, buddy? What is really going on? I apologize that you almost killed somebody. Nice blinker, bud. Good blinker you got there. Oh, it's a good parking job you did, fuck twat. Oh, it's a real good one. What if I just take your fucking entire front end off? How'd that be? How'd that be, fucktardo? Welcome to Dipshitville. President Dipshit, at your service. Right behind me. You'd like to have a chat with him. All right, you ain't got near enough lights on that sucky fun time, fucktardo. Holy shit, fuck boy. Wow, with all your fuck you lights on there. I am such an asshole. Wow, do you think you got enough fucking lights on your truck, fucktardo? Jesus fucking Christ. Just kill me, why don't you? All right, what in the hell is going on? Why we got giant fucking trucks going all up and down this fucking road? Cocksuckers need to take it to the house. A little too late for fucking hauling hay or fucking whatever the hell you're pulling. I mean, it's only 6.42, it's just dark as fuck. And I'm mad because I'm blind as fuck. The only good thing about that is maybe they scared the deer away. Okay, let's see what less than 13 bucks got me. A bag of chips, of which I've already eaten most of. Mmm. Delicious. That is chimichangas. I don't know what the hell it is. There's my rice, there's my beans. Where the fuck are my Rianos? Because that is not a Riano. That looks like a pile of meat and cheese. Like what is really going on? What the fuck is that? There might be a rano in there. Weird. It's good, but I don't know what it is. Anyway, we'll see how the rest of it is. Well, here, let me just let you know. Have a little taste. These seem a little soggy, but... I do live about 20 minutes away, so they are pretty cool. Mmm. Pretty good. Be much better fresh, but okay. Yes. Thumbs up. Probably just gonna live with it.